Well, hello everybody. This is Brandon with the Desert Rat. And I just finished the rebuild of uh, this monstrosity right here. So we're gonna go through and talk about what it is and all of the different parts because it is uh, kind of unique and it's old. So this is a 1964 setup out of a Jeep CJ5. Uh, transmission here is a three speed. It's called the T90 made by Borg Warner. Here's the input shaft. I've been kind of timing the gears to see, you know, what the ratios are. But um, here's the input shaft from the engine. So you'll, your bell housing will, um, you know, bolt on right here. You'll pull power from the engine here. Um, so as, as you go back, the transmission connects to this right here, which is a Spicer Dana 18 transfer case. Oh, and these are the controls for the, for the transfer case here. Um, back right here, this is an aftermarket product from the 60s called the Koenig Ironworks Model 51. Now what the power takeoff does is when you engage this lever here, um, all of the power from the engine goes directly back to a chain system here. And it goes forward to a winch at the front of the vehicle. So power takeoff allows you to run a winch from your engine. And this thing right here this is kind of unique as well so as your transmission is rolling 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 that is the that's the e-brake essentially so this little uh, lever right here stops the stops the transmission this one is uh right at the back of the transmission and transfer case so that's kind of cool too very uh different anyways so um let's go with the t90 here so the t90 like i said it's a three-speed transmission so you're sitting here and this is your gear shifter so we're in neutral so first gear is straight down right here so here's first up to the right, up is second gear. And then straight back is third gear. So you got first, second, third. And then directly up above first is reverse. Okay. So transfer case, these are the controls here. You've got on, and you've got off. So if you're on, that means you're going to be sending for, sending power forward. Right, your, um, axle, for your front axle, so you'll be a four-wheel drive. Off means you're only going to be running off your rear. Uh, this one right here, this is in neutral here. Uh, when I pull back, we're in high gear. And then when I go forward, we're in low gear. Okay. And then if I turn on the transfer case by pulling back. See, now it moves this. It goes to the forward, or the front axle. So, anyways, put this one back in neutral here. No, no power's going that way. So with the power takeoff here, um, I'm gonna put it in the first gear. So in first gear here, all right? Now, disengage, this thing doesn't go, all right? So right now we've shut off all, all power from the engine to the axles with, uh, with this right here. Um, now we're gonna be running some power to the power takeoff. So I keep it in first gear, and then I engage it with this lever, pull it back, and now this thing moves. And this will run this shaft up to a winch in the front. Take it off, no power from the engine. Turns on, power turns on. So I can run it in each of the gears as well. So. so as you give more juice to the engine, you'll run your winch, you know, faster and faster. Pretty cool little setup here. This is going to go back into the CJ5 that we uh, disassembled a little while ago. Uh, right now, I'm in, in search for a bell housing that'll marry a T90 to a 230 Tornado engine. And then, uh, then we can start the frame up. So. Real excited about this. No fluid drain it, it's just dry. Uh, put some gear lube on all of the gears and sealed everything up with some good gaskets. And, but we're ready to we're ready to go on to the next step here. We have our powertrain minus the in, well minus the bell housing. I already got the engine, just waiting for bell housing. Uh, if you have any questions about this or, or how the rebuild or anything was, um, let me know. I'll answer whatever questions I, I know. And if I don't know, I'll research and maybe I can find out the answer for you. But these old birds are getting rare. No, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Hey everyone. Just want to do a follow-up video on the ratios of each of the gears in the T90 transmission going through a Dana 18. Um, so I'm talking about revolutions um, relative to the input shaft to the output shaft of the transfer case. So when you're in high range first gear, your input shaft from the from the engine will go 3.2 revolutions for one revolution in the output shaft. And then in second gear it goes to 1.85 and then third gear you go one to one so one revolution in the input shaft equals one revolution in the output shaft there's no overdrive in this setup that i have uh switching into low range 
you'll go 8.3 revolutions in first gear for one revolution in the output shaft. Then you go to 4.6 in second gear. And 2.4 in third gear. So in third gear, low range, you get 2.4 revolutions in input shaft to one revolution in the output shaft of the transfer case. Uh, reverse gear in high, you're looking at uh, 4.5 about. And then if you switch it into low, you're 11.1 .1 about. And I'm just rounding these, um, just to use chalk marks on the output shaft and input shaft, just kind of guessing about what um, what the ratios are. So, oh. Just thought that might be interesting. This uh, power takeoff right here. It's actually, uh, for every one revolution on the input shaft. You're going to be like 0.9, I think it is. So using this, you reduce it to 0.9. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend.